shout out salam. This is Gaia Mother Sophia. How are you guys? Well, it's a beautiful day today and there is so much to be joyful about. Now, this video is all about how negative energy can not only make you sick, it can make you perform um, less, as in, you know, if you're going to the gym, if you're working out, if you've got a speech to give, if you've got an interview, whatever it is in your life that you want to achieve, negative energy can actually stop you achieving these things. It can actually affect your body on a cellular level. I'm gonna to speak to you a little, about, a little bit about a guy called Bruce Lipton. Lipton. Bruce Lipton. I stumbled across him recently and I found that his teachings and my teachings were very similar. The thing with Bruce is that he's actually a scientist. Now, Bruce had, um, has done a very interesting experiment. He's a cellular biologist. Two Petri dishes, stem cells in each from the body. One of them they put nutrients in, other ones they put bad chemicals in. And the actual cells um, with nutrients swam towards the, nu uh, the nutrients to, to take them. And the other cells moved away from the chemicals because the chemicals are not good for the stem cells. Every cell in your body, base, uh, by the way, it has a full imprint of your whole body. So you could be recognized by a single cell in your body, which is uh, interesting. Now, negative energy. Think of negative energy as that chemical that your body is trying to move away from. Um, but sometimes in life, you're in a situation where you cannot get away from that negative energy. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you about something that happened to me not long ago. I mean, literally last week. Um, there, I basically spent a number of days, three days with somebody who I only knew through a work situation. Um, and we basically had a little break together and I ended up, uh, as, as we went to get on the plane, I was full of energy, like I was super full of energy and so joyful to go to another place, to explore. I mean, my energy was like up here. Anyway, by the end of it, I returned with my energy down here. Not only was my energy down, my performance was down. I then went to a gymnastics class and the teacher said, I don't know what's going on with you, Sophia, but normally when I give you something to do, you attempt it and you do it well. If not, you keep going, but you're throwing me negative um, phrases like, oh, I don't think I can do this. Oh, I think I'm gonna hurt myself. And it just made me think, okay. Now I knew the source of this because I felt so good and this particular person I didn't know that well and spending three days with them I understood exactly what they were and they were constantly negative probably 90% of the time there was a negative connotation to everything to the point where I could feel my energy getting sick and in fact in fact on the last day I'm a, I myself am a very powerful healer on the last day, I had to perform a protection ceremony um, with some obsidian, which I'd got from Mexico to clear. I literally had to clean my skin off this negative energy. Everything is energy. Everything that you see, smell, taste, touch, and hear converts into energy into your body. So if your body is receiving negative words, and that can be from TV shows, newspapers, magazines, movies, people, the cells in your body will get sick. A lot of cancers come from that as well. Um, I've had a lot of cancer clients um, who basically, anybody who, who has come to me with cancer in the last two years has um, gone into full remission. And the pattern that I've seen in all of them uh, is that there has been some sort of flat frustration, a lack of love, lack of uh, there's been arguments there's been negative sources coming in um somehow and i swear that literally by the end of the three days i felt awful i am such a positive person anyone who knows me personally will tell you that and all of a sudden i felt so down i couldn't wait to get out of the situation and as a result i've completely blocked and cut off the source of negative energy which the other person wasn't happy about, but I have to look after myself. Now, 
you may be in situations that are negative that you perhaps aren't in control of. Um, so you're not in control of the fact that your mother and father live with you if, if you're of an age where you have to stay with your parents and they're affecting you in a negative way. I mean, I grew up with my parents telling me that I would not make it, that I was ugly, that nobody would marry me, um, that I was stupid. Um, and every audition I went to as an actress, in the back of my mind, I really didn't think I was going to get the job and I was good enough. But when I moved out of my family home and I started to love myself, love people around me, love, I mean, I loved, I loved music, I loved singing and acting. Um, and I remember the first job that I get, got um, when I got it, I actually didn't believe that I got it. I thought they were going to call up and say we've got the wrong person. And it was a massive job, a massive advertising campaign for Doritos. And I was, you know, I was so happy. And, and from then on, whenever I went to an audition, I went in knowing that I was actually overqualified for the job. And from then on, I got the jobs and I never had to audition again. Now, um, what I'm trying to say to you is from my experience, what I've learned is that, you know, I'm, I'll say it again, Tesla said that everything is energy and frequency. Your heartbeat is a frequency. If that frequency and vibration wasn't there, you would be dead. The cells in your body are not stuck together with glue. It's a vibration. Everybody, think of human beings and people around you and, and situations and food as a vibration. What does it do to you? Uh, for example, Alcohol is a vibration for me that brings me down. It makes me feel bad. It makes me eat bad. You know, it makes my me tired. Um, I used to be able to drink in the past, but since my vibration has risen and I have love and respect for myself, I, I don't put that kind of stuff inside me. Um, now, I generally was drinking, what, two glasses of champagne every month. And again, on this so-called trip, because the vibration was so low, and I'm going to admit this to you, I ended up drinking, I had four drinks, which is, uh, I've never drunk that much in five years. And we're talking uh, champagne and wine. And of course, what happened? I felt really low the next day, worse than I did. But the thing is, these negative energies, alcohol is a negative energy, can only intercept and come into your life if your energy goes down. And my energy dropped greatly because I had this negative source in my face for literally 12 hours a day, if not more. Constantly, constantly, negative words, fighting, anger, blah, 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 ah, leave me alone. You know, you know, really it was like, just get away from me. Because as an ascended master, I understand that everything is energy and frequency. Now, it's not our job to sit amongst the negative energy. Science will tell you that we belong to a field of energy. Your cells create a field of energy coming out. Now, if you stand in, in, in a, another field of energy, if you go into a room where people are laughing, uh, there's a famous video on YouTube or the internet which has made the rounds where someone's on a train or tube, one person starts laughing, second person laughs, and the whole train erupts in laughter. I mean, how beautiful is that? The same is said of negative energy. So when I was a child growing up in my family home, constantly fed negativity to the point where I tried to commit suicide a number of times. I was abused as a kid, so my whole vibration, my childhood, beautiful, joyful vibration just went boom. I had no value of myself at all. You know, I thought I was hideous, ugly, useless, worthless. And, and that was a program given to me by my family. And as I went on in life, I chose partners um, who treated me the same. But now, enough. I'm done with that, you know. We have lessons to learn in our life. And my lesson was, okay, Sophia, have you had enough of this negative energy? And every day, you know what? You will be thrown challenges. It's not that you're making a mistake, it's just that you revert to the old program of allowing negative energy in. And sometimes you don't know where it's coming from. You know, it can be disguised, um, like my those of you who know me as a Bollywood actress, 
Um, my last relationship was all over the newspapers. Um, I had a sacred union with somebody who basically ended up being a con man. Now he came in with a positive energy, a fake positive energy. So there's a lot of fakers out there who can pretend that they're positive energy. Now, I believed it, I fell for it. But again, when we moved in together or he moved into my house, um, I understood his vibration. I saw that vibration, I felt that vibration and then it became evident in his behavior. See, when you spend time with people, like I did with this particular person, it didn't take me long. Literally, it took me the first, I'd say, okay, we, we arrived in the evening, the next day it was daytime. Literally within the first hour that this frequency was damaging me. It was damaging me. My energy went from up here to here. And um, I also, I even, I even feel that sometimes by, by being, I've gone into situations where some people are drunk or they're on drugs or I can actually feel that vibration. Now, please don't mistake this. Like if your friend has a problem and they want to talk to you, that's different because the, the source vibration is good so um everything is energy and frequency and there are source frequencies that are not good that do not serve the light and you walk away from it that's their purpose like my mother not only did she call me really bad names which i don't want to repeat here she then went on to do the same to another member of family my niece and i saw how it affected her and it's disgusting and i thought okay this woman hasn't changed because that is her frequency we have to stop making excuses for those who are a negative frequency this beautiful planet is full of children of the light and it was inter intercepted by those of the dark and i mean not the color black i mean dark hearted low frequencies and vibrations and through many many aeons many prophets ascended masters have been here to remove that and i'm here to help remove that as well it's part of my mission so that you get the message so that you can rise above the lower vibration and not bring yourself back down there when the whole of society the whole of media is trying to bring you back down you know media is owned by the top couple of families who know that when you're down and in a negative vibration, they can control you and they can make you sick and sell you medications. And I, I'm not going to go into that right now, but th that's the bigger picture. How do you make a difference now? Please know that you as one individual make a huge difference. If your vibration is in control, you control your vibration, remember. If you're in control of your vibration and you radiate that out like like oh a, a massive great big glowing light that this is me and you will push away all of that negative vibration that's been trying to get you down it's taken me three days to get over this negativity and i saw how one person's negativity and it wasn't even directed at me um but the words they just resonated it was i fear this I'm scared of that. This is bad. It's your fault. This was directed to somebody else. And just, even if there were no words, the tone of the whole thing was just vile. It was sick. It was, it was putrid. And it was affecting me because I was in their field. We are all energy. We all have energetic fields. We are receivers and we are transmitters. We receive and transmit, it through, uh, transmit through our senses. So there are cleansing things that you can do. Um, you can detach your energy from the person. The first thing you need to do is move far away from them as possible. And I know it's not easy when you're in a situation where you live with members of a family. I ended up running away from home after being kidnapped by my own parents. Um, and I have thrived. I've never felt so amazing. My health has never been so good. My life is incredible. You were falsely taught compassion for those that are drowning, drowning in negativity, who grab your hand and as they do that, they suck out your light. Days are gone. Victimhood is a dark energy. Come out of victimhood. Those who cannot come out of victimhood are the parasites. 
those who keep having a story at 30, 40, 50, 60 years, they're parasiting off those with good energy because they survive on your light. It's never too late to walk away. It's never too late to reclaim back your light. Negative energy is here. Now, I can tell you that be like Buddha and close your eyes and let it go on around you. Um, but even myself as an ascended master, I remove myself from that situation because it doesn't matter if you're Buddha or Jesus, if you walk into shit, you will smell of shit and then you can watch it off. But who wants to be covered in shit in the first place? Not me. So walk away, walk away. The more you think about the negative situation, that situation grows. The more you think of that person who's causing you pain, their energy grows. They want you to hate them. They want you to feel, ah, oh, that person this and that person that. Which is what I'm doing, you know? But I'm showing you my experience. And it clouded my judgment. You know, every day I walk in the park and I hear the birds and to, you know, when all this happened, the birds didn't sing as loudly. Is it because they stopped singing or because I couldn't hear them? Because I was attuned now to, or detuned to a lower vibration. I'd gone from up here to, and the song of the birds wasn't as beautiful. Because it blocks you, do you understand? Negative energy blocks you from seeing the beauty, from seeing your own beauty. You know, I, I this person was so powerfully negative that I, looked at myself and I didn't like myself and I haven't felt that in so many years and it was because this negative vibration had literally attacked me and my solar plexus felt quite weak as well and um, and the reason why it had attacked me is because I came into these well the person came into my space um, came into a situation that they shouldn't have really been into and invited themselves into my space and then um, I mean, this person is big in every single way, big energy, big presence. And me, I'm, you know, I, I'm compassionate and passionate, but um, I understand when compassion must be withdrawn, especially if it's damaging you, because your energetic field can be damaged. So I'm going to take you through um, a quick protection meditation. So if you all close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out three times. Now I want you to visualize a pyramid that comes from the top of your head all the way down under your feet. It's made a white light and you are inside. This pyramid is powerful. This pyramid is protecting you. Any energy or any other energetic force that tries to come through will only bounce back to that person. This pyramid of protection only allows positive energy in and repels negative energy back to its source. I am protected by the pyramid of white light. I am protected and so it is. So that's a nice uh, thing that you can do to protect yourself. You can also afterwards, I mean, I felt like I needed to have a salt bath, so I filled my bath with Himalayan salts and just allow that negative energy to go. And also the next day, just eat super healthy to clear out anything that they may have given you. A lot of gurus will tell you that, you know, um, negative energy is a perception. I know that there are dark forces that exist on this planet and their job is to make you forget that you are in the kingdom of heaven and that you are divine and that you are powerful, so powerful. And I'm here to remind you of the opposite, that you are powerful, that you are the divine, the divine seeks you as you seek the divine. And when you come to that higher vibration and you remove any negative vibration from your life, you will see yourself as I see you. Incredible, beautiful, powerful. You are love and you are light. I love you. Namaste. Shalom. Salam.